Right, here's another one. Calcium carbonate um, reacting with hydrochloric acid to give us calcium chloride and carbon dioxide and water. So we've got our balance equation, we've got our mole ratio, and it basically tells us this time that 15 grams of calcium carbonate reacts with 50 centimetre cubed of four molar HCl, right? Um, so the first thing you have to work out is which one of these bad boys is in excess, right? Which is in excess? Because the one that's not in excess is going to determine what, how much of your carbon dioxide you've produced, right? So you work out which is in excess and you can then ignore it. <clears throat> right, so let's go moles to moles here, right? Let's work out what kind of moles we've got. So, 15 grams of calcium carbonate, right? We need our triangle. We also need to work out the uh, gram formula mass of calcium carbonate. That is three times 16 equals one times 12 equals and one times 40 equals. Right, three times 16 is 30 and 18, that's 48 plus the 12 and your 40. Eight and two is 10. Eight, four and four is eight and two is 10 <clears throat> is 100 grams, right? So our triangle here, we'll finish that off. Number of moles is mass over gram formula mass. We worked out that the gram formula mass is 100. We're looking to work out how many moles we've got. So we must have a mass and we do, 15. So the number of moles we have here um, of calcium carbonate is 15 divided by 100, which is 0 0.15 moles. Right, <clears throat> so if we've got 0 0.15 moles, we need to come over here, right? We need to work out the number of moles that we need on this side, right? So 0 0.15 moles require, um, is here. We need, now try and bear with me, I'm doing this. This is in this column here. We need twice as many, right? It's a one to two ratio. We need twice as many. So we need 0 0.3 moles right so let's have a look and see how how many moles um we've got here and remember it's a different um triangle this time so concentration is the number of moles per liter volume in liters right so concentration we've got a concentration We've got a volume, and this is the number of moles we're looking for here, right? So, um, we're trying to work out number of moles. So, it's the concentration, which is 4, times the volume, which is 50, times 10 to the negative 3. Because it's that's we're given this in centimetre cubed, but we need to do it in, in litres, right? So, it's actual fact it's 0 0.05. 1, 2, 3. 0 0.05 uh, litres, okay? So 4 times 0 0.05 is N equals 4 times 0 0.05 N equals 0 0.2 moles. So we've got 0.2 moles. We need 0.3 moles. So we don't have enough of this guy. This is an excess. Right, the calcium carbonate um, is in excess. So we can't use this to determine how much carbon dioxide is going to be formed because there's, there's plenty of this. There's more than we need. This is the one that's going to determine how, how many moles of carbon dioxide is formed. So we've got... We have... 0 0.2 moles 
of HCl. Yeah. What's that going to give us in terms of um, carbon dioxide? Well, it's a 2 to 1. So we're going to get 0 0.1 moles of CO2. Now, we need to answer the question, though. The question was mass. So we need to say, right, how many grams is 0.1 moles of um, carbon dioxide? Well, we know that the gram formula mass of CO2 is 44 because we worked out earlier. So what we need to do is go back to another triangle is N equals mass gram formula mass. Gram formula mass we just worked out is 44. Number of moles we've got is 0 0.1. So the mass equals 0 0.1 times 44. That equals 4.4 grams of CO2 has been formed, right? 44 grams of CO2. Okay, does that make sense to everybody? Did I say 44 grams at the end there? I said four, I meant 4.4 grams. 4.4 grams of CO2. Okay, right. What I'll do is I'll give you some examples to do. Give them a wee blast and then I'll be chatting to you on Thursday anyway. And we can have a, uh, have a, have a blether about this. Okay, right. Take it easy.